In this video I demonstrate how you can plot a celestial line of position or LOP on a plotting sheet using this device, the T-plotter. The T-plotter consists of two mutually perpendicular arms, the plotting arm along which you will be plotting your LOP and the azimuth arm along which you will mark the intercept distance. I will demonstrate this with an LOP characterized by an intercept distance of 9 miles away from azimuth 107. The assumed position for this LOP was chosen to fall right in the middle of the compass rows. I used uh, an integral value of both latitude and longitude uh, for my assumed position. You always have this option if you use an electronic site reduction method like uh, the one that I used with the spreadsheet shown earlier. So I will be marking azimuth 107 over here along the uh, azimuth arm and the distance of 9 miles 9 miles and we can now plot the LOP. Notice that I was able to plot this LOP without having to plot the azimuth line like it's uh, uh, usually done. This makes the plot a little less cluttered uh, with fewer lines to worry about on the plotting sheet. So this device, the T-plotter, is naturally suited to plot intercept distances uh, which are away from your azimuth. What happens if we have uh, an intercept distance that is toward? Let's say we are working with 9 miles but toward the azimuth 107. One way of handling this is to recognize that this is equivalent of having a 9 miles away from the reciprocal direction of 2, 8, 7. So I will mark 9 miles away from 2, 8, 7. So there's the 9 miles. And there is the 287. And I have my LOP 9 miles toward 107. What if you use a site reduction method uh, that does not allow you to place the assumed position in the middle of uh, the compass rows? For example, uh, you end up with uh, AP right over here. In that case, you will have to transfer the bearing. Let's say it's 287 using the standard method, using a triangle, so that first the azimuth line overlaps with the AP, and then you move the T-plotter to the correct intercept distance, which in our case was 9 miles. Finally, there is one more possibility for plotting this LOP. The spreadsheet that I used here, intercept.xls, also calculates the intersections that the LOP makes with the AP's meridian and uh, parallel of latitude. Notice that uh, the LOP, the original one, crosses the uh, meridian of AP at 30 miles north from the AP and it crosses the parallel of latitude for the AP nine miles west from the AP. So we can plot the original LOP in a different way without referring to any angular information. We can mark the 30 miles north of the AP and with the t-plotter we can mark the nine miles west of the AP and then we simply connect these two points and obtain the same LOP. This concludes the demonstration.